For whosoever will save his life shall lose it. And whosoever will lose his life for my sake shall find it. Hallelujah. Praise God. Trying to save your life today? Teaching a false gospel? Preaching a false message? Trying to save your life? Trying to make it easy on yourself? Huh? See, they're coming after these books, see, right here. They're going to come after this. They're going to come after, they're going to come after this book. They're, they're going to say, this is a banned book. See? But you won't have to worry about it if, if the Word of God is not the Word of God, will you, Mr. Basha? See? Will you? You won't have to worry about it, will you, Bosh? You won't have to worry about that. Because you don't have a Bible. See? You, you'll be able to just say, yeah, that's right. I really don't believe that the Bible is the Word of God and you're trying to save your life. See? It's not going to work. Because he who seeks to save his life is going to lose it. Hallelujah. See? We've seen that happen. We've seen several people that have come to Arkansas during Y2K. They try to save their life. They lost it. They're gone. They're in the pit. I'm telling you. This is serious. This is absolutely serious. You've got to get right with God. You've got to know you're right with Him. And you can know it by the supernatural power of the Holy Spirit within. And He brings conviction to you. And He says, hey, you're not doing right there. Hey, you're not doing right there. Hey, you're sinning. Hey, stop it. You grieve the Holy Spirit. You repent. You turn to the Lord. He forgives you. See? Daily. You work out your salvation with fear and trembling. Hallelujah. Does that mean I'm not saved? If I'm working out myself? No, you are saved. That's why you're working it out. Hallelujah. Because if you weren't saved, you wouldn't care. You wouldn't give a hoot. Okay? If you weren't saved. Hallelujah. But because you are saved, you do care. And you do walk with the Lord. And you do know. Okay? by the power of the Holy Spirit when you fall and you're, you're, you're convicted. See? If you got a problem with lust, young man, you know. You know that. What do you got to do? you got to cry out to God for deliverance. you got to turn off those images. See? You men out there, and some of you, you know, like Jan and others, you know, you say, you said to me, and I've heard stories, you know, pornography just popping up on their computer. Pornography just coming straight up on the computer. Why is that? It's never come up on my computer. You know why? Because I don't go to pornographic sites. That's why. You understand? You understand what I'm saying? You go to those porno sites, they put cookies in your computer. Then they pop up on your screen when you least expect it, right? Huh? That's the truth. I got my own brother. It happened to him several times. See? I know. And, and, and people, you know, they, they want to say something, you know, like, oh, you don't know what you're talking about. I know what I'm talking about. Okay. My wife and I, we use the computer for studying the Word of God, for finding pictures to put on videos, and for making videos. That's what we use it for. Hallelujah. And check the weather. Glory to God. You see. And a little bit of news. Praise the Lord. And that's it. Praise God. And you know, some of you guys out there, and, 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 and some, of the, some of the ladies out there, you guys send us videos that bless us. We thank you for that. You know, sometimes we get videos that don't bless us. But we get videos, especially like Disciple Diane sends videos to us that bless us. Right on time. Boom, man. The video's like ministers to us. You don't know. You know I couldn't tell you how many people out there that minister to us on YouTube. Because we receive the ministry. We can tell when it's of the Spirit of God. And we know when it's not. See? We can sense the doubt coming in. And all the doubt, the doubt, the doubt, the doubt. You know, and that's what's coming through Final Call 07's uh, messages is doubt, you know, discouragement, fear, and like I was saying before, the devil he'll take you down a slow slope. See, he'll he'll put poison in you just a little bit at a time until he's just reached in your heart and sucked out all the anointing of God out of you, and you're just left out for dead, just with no anointing. And that's why you got to stay in the Word. Now I'm not. I don't feel bad about saying anything about uh, Bashoff or or church fell away, scripture alone. I don't feel bad because they're false and they won't repent. See, and and they blaspheme. I mean, the Holy Spirit. When you say that the Spirit, the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of Jesus Christ, the Holy Spirit is the devil, you have blasphemed the Holy Spirit. Now that's just all there is to it. When a man or a woman walks up to me. And they give me a word, and it's a hard word, okay? 
and it's and it just that sword comes in and just pierces my heart. And I know, oh God, that's your wear. See? But because of my pride and arrogance, or maybe I'm older than the person, maybe it's a twenty four year old boy or, you know, young young man or whatever, you know. And my pride rises up and I just reject them and I tell them, You're working for the devil, blah 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 blah. See? What am I doing? I'm blaspheming the spirit the man's operating by. You see what I'm saying? And if I do that, what, ha what happens to me? What happens to me according to the scripture? See, I will go to hell. That's why when someone brings me a word, I take it to the Lord. Take it to the Lord. I say, Lord, so-and-so gave me a word. See, so Jan gave us a word one time. And he was like, he said, the Lord says you have to get new wineskins. You have to get new wineskins. I'm like, okay, 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 you know. And so I, I, I take the word and I take it to the Lord and I begin to pray, you know. And the Lord reminds me, John, when you came back to me in 1994, I gave you a new wineskin. And he did. And people say that if you're stuck on the Bible, then you're just a traditionalist. You're stuck on Scripture and all. Hey, praise the Lord. I'm glad. Hallelujah. Because I'm standing on the sure rock, see? You're on sinking sand. Okay? You're on sinking sand. Okay? When you don't have a Bible in your hand to check the Spirit that you're hearing. you got to be able to check that Holy Spirit. See? Because the Holy Spirit speaks to you, and then you can check it out right here in the Word of God. You know, hey, that's the Word of God. Because the devil will mimic it. The devil will mimic the Holy Spirit. Yeah, he will. He'll speak to you nice and soft, very smooth. The devil's not going to come in and just... And he's not going to come in and talk to you like this. He's not going to say, Let me tell you something. He's not going to sound like that. He's not going to talk like that to you. He's going to say, You know, as soon as it He's going to talk so soft to you, you know, where you don't even, you know, and you're going to, and he's going to try to imitate the voice of God. So how do you check it? See? How do you check it? You check it with the Word of God. That's how you do it. And when you find out the voice you've been hearing is not the Lord, it's not the Holy Spirit, what do you do? You rebuke it. You repent to the Lord for not following the Holy Spirit, and you rebuke that voice. You tell it to leave. It's either from the world, the flesh, or the devil. See, those were our three enemies. John showed us that see, in the Word of God, one John chapter two. Okay, you have three enemies: the world, the flesh, and the devil. Okay, and the other thoughts come from the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah! Now, when the Holy Spirit's regenerated us and and He regenerates us more and more every day. We're growing and growing and growing and being sanctified more, see. But see, the Bible teaches us, I don't have to worry about that. Why? Because Jesus is my sanctification. Why? Because Jesus is my redemption. Hallelujah. I don't have to worry about that. Why? Because Jesus is my righteousness. Hallelujah. See, I can rest assured that He is these things for me. And therefore, I know I can walk with the Lord and He will perfect me, see. He will extend His grace to me. Hallelujah. So that I can be walking every day more and more and more in holiness before Him. In love. Hallelujah. See? But not if I'm following a false teacher. If you start listening and listening to false teachers, you will be sucked dry. They will suck you dry. The devils, the demons in the world, they need some more of that Holy God, Holy Spirit anointing. Because they're running out of steam. So they want it from any and all true believers. And they'll come in and they'll try to get that Holy Spirit anointing from you. See? They want to suck you dry. Okay? Now I'm going to ask you a question. I'm going to ask you to do something. Okay? If you are on John Boschoff's friend list and Church Fell Away of friends list, okay? Uh, scripture alone. You're on their friend list. Then if you go and look on my friend If you're on my friends list, you either take yourself off of my friends list or you remove yourself off of their friends list. Because I can't be your friend. Okay? Because I've warned you and warned you and warned you and warned you. I'm not going to have unity with Boshoff. I'm not going to have unity with Scripture alone. And any of these other false teachers out there. I'm not. Anyone who denies the deity of Christ. Anyone who demotes Jesus Christ. Anyone who says he's not in the Scripture. I want nothing to do with you. Okay? 
except to preach to you the truth of God's Word in the hopes that you will repent. And some of you, it's too late for you to repent. 